For today's lesson, lesson 11, we will be creating and adding the pocket on the Minions overalls. So for the pocket, we're going to use the round roof. Next, you're going to select mirror, which is at the top corner of your screen next to your align button. It's the straight line down with the two triangles on both sides. Once you hit mirror, you're going to notice that these bold black larger arrows show up. You are hitting this one on the right side. And that's going to flip your round roof upside down. Okay, next I'm going to move the round roof in front and I'm going to align it with my minion body by selecting my bottom center dot. <clears throat> I'm going to use the black triangle to raise up the pocket and then I'm going to just move it back. Okay, it should be sticking out a little bit. Okay, so you'll notice that um, it'll be a little bit off-centered, which is okay. If you if it really bothers you, you can always press on it and edit that bottom ruler. Um, to move it over if you want. Totally up to you. Okay, so once you have your pocket placed, you're going to change the color of it. I'm just going to choose maybe like a, a lighter, a little bit. Well, that's the same color. Maybe I like a lighter blue like this, so that way you can see the difference. And then you're going to group together your pocket with your minion. Okay, now we're going to add text to the minion pocket. So if you remember, the minion usually has a G on the pocket of the overalls for grew. <clears throat> so I'm going to put a G. However, if you want to put a different letter, you are more than welcome to. Okay, so I added text. I'm going to press my drop down arrow to the left of our color button, and I'm gonna edit the text. <clears throat> and I'm going to change it to black. Okay, I need my G to be standing, so I'm going to turn to the side. I'm gonna use that curved arrow, and I'm gonna change my degrees to 90 to stand it up. And then I'm gonna change that outside box that says negative I'm changing that to a zero. Remember, we never want the outside box to be a negative. Okay, so now that my G is there, I do have to make the G smaller. So through practice, I've noticed that um, you don't have to change the length, only really the width and the height. So I'm going to change my width and my height to 0 0.4. Now that number might work for you. It might not. You may have to change it depending on the letter that you have, the height and width may be different, but for the letter G, 0 0.4 works, so that's what I'm going to use. All right, so I'm going to drag it over. I'm going to lift it up. And I'm just going to position the G. All right. I'm going to lower it a little bit. Nah, it's fine. I'll leave it there. Okay, so once you have your G where you want it to be, group it together. And, whoops, I should have moved it back a little bit. There we go, that's a little bit better. All right, so I'm gonna group it together with my minion. And that is it for lesson 11.